Hello and welcome back to the Dividend Experiment, the channel that can help you build a sustainable dividend portfolio. The content that will be discussed is intended for information and educational purposes only and should not be considered investment advice or investment recommendation. This is actually part two of a double bill of European dividend aristocrats. I had to split it into two episodes as the software takes exponentially longer to render the longer the episode. But anyway, here we are with the second part of the European dividend aristocrats. Now if you've spent any amount of time in the dividend space, you'll have probably heard of this concept of the US dividend aristocrats, which are companies that have paid out rising dividends for 25 years or more, putting them in the category of the most reliable dividend paying companies in the world. Obviously these companies are quite attractive for someone who wants to be fairly certain they're getting an income from their investments, and the track record illustrates management's commitment to consistently paying out dividends. The problem is, like most media on the internet and especially in the investing space, it's all very US centric and that's not the greatest for us investors in the UK, European mainland and beyond. The criteria to become a European dividend aristocrat is that the company just has to pay out for 10 years. This isn't impressive really when you consider that the financial crash back in 2007, 8, 9 was over 10 years ago now. Therefore to be really impressive we're going to look at some European companies that have paid out significantly longer than that or at least past the so-called Great Recession. Okay, let's get started with the longer history part two of the European dividend aristocrats. We'll take a look at the company, a little background information and the dividend history. SAP, SE, ticker symbol SAP. SAP operates as an enterprise application software company worldwide. The company operates through four segments, applications, technology and support, Concur, Qualtrics and services. The company also provides SAP solutions for enterprise information management the offers capabilities to understand, integrate, cleanse, manage, associate and archive data. SAP was founded in 1972 and is headquartered in Waldorf, Germany. SAP has a dividend history of 28 years and its current yield is 1.52%. Spirax Sarco Engineering, ticker symbol SPX. Spirax Sarco Engineering PLC provides engineered solutions for the users of industrial and commercial steam systems, electrical heating and temperature management systems, and then pumps and fluid path technologies too. The company sells its products directly as well as through distributors. It operates in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, the Asia Pacific and the Americas. Spirax Sarko Engineering PLC was founded in 1888 and is headquartered in Cheltenham, United Kingdom. Spirax Sarko Engineering has a dividend history of 29 years and has a current yield of 0.86%. Henkel & Co, ticker symbol HEN3. Henkel AG & Co, together with its subsidiaries, engages in the adhesive technologies, beauty care and laundry and home care businesses worldwide. The company's adhesive technology segment, think brands like Loctite Superglue, offers adhesive, sealants, functional coatings for various business areas, including packaging and consumer goods, automotive and metals, electronics and industrials, and craftsman, construction and professional industries. The company's laundry and home care segment, think brands like Persil, offers heavy duty and specialty detergents, fabric softeners, laundry performance enhancers and other fabric care products, and hand and automatic dishwashing products. Henkel AG & Co was founded in 1876 and is headquartered in Dusseldorf, Germany. Henkel & Co has a dividend history of 29 years and a current yield of 2.08%. I kind of see this one like a German version of Procter & Gamble or something like that. Diageo PLC, ticker symbol DGO. Diageo PLC, together with its subsidiaries, produces, markets and sells alcoholic beverages. The company offers scotch, whiskey, gin, vodka, rum, ready-to-drink products, Irish cream liqueur, raki, wine, tequila, Canadian whiskey, American whiskey, adult beverages, spirits and brandy, as well as beer, including cider and non-alcoholic products. So a pretty comprehensive range of alcohol. It has operations all across the world and the company was incorporated in 1886 and is headquartered in London, the United Kingdom. Diageo PLC has a dividend history of 30 years, which is truly impressive, and its current yield is 2.01%. Walters Kluwer, ticker symbol WKL. Walters Kluwer NV, together with its subsidiaries, provides professional information, software solutions and services in Europe, North America, Asia Pacific and internationally. The company operates through health, tax and accounting, governance, risk and compliance, and legal and regulatory divisions. The company serves clinicians, nurses, accountants and lawyers as well as tax, finance, audit, risk, compliance and regulatory sectors. Walters Kluwer was founded in 1836 and is based in the Netherlands. 
Walter's Kluwer has a dividend history of 30 years and has a current yield of 1.59%. Roche Holding Limited, ticker symbol ROG. Roche Holding AG engages in the prescription pharmaceuticals and diagnostics business in Switzerland, Germany and internationally. It offers pharmaceutical products for testing anemia, cancer, cardiovascular, central nervous system, dermatology, hepatitis B and C, HIV AIDS and more. In addition, it supplies diagnostic instruments, consumables and test kits for use in the diverse research market. The company was founded in 1896 and is headquartered in Basel, Switzerland. Roche has a dividend history of over 30 years and has a current yield of 2.6. Coloplast AS, ticker symbol COLO. Coloplast AS develops and markets intimate healthcare products and services worldwide. It provides ostomy care products, including Sensor and Mio, which provides fit individual body shapes and optimal discretion for various types of ostomies, and Sensor Ostomy Care Solutions as well as ostomy accessories under the Brava brand. I actually had no idea what ostomies were, so a quick Google showed me that they were where you get parts of your organs cut out and replaced for various medical reasons, like a colostomy replaces part of your colon as an example. Coloplast AS was founded in 1954 and is headquartered in Humlebach, Denmark. Coloplast has a dividend history of 31 years and a current yield of 1.74%. L'Oreal ticker symbol OR. L'Oreal, through its subsidiaries, manufactures and sells cosmetic products for women and men worldwide. The company operates through four divisions, consumer products, L'Oreal Lux, professional products and active cosmetics. It offers shampoos, like this certain shampoo that I remember vividly as a kid, as well as hair care products, shower gels, skincare products, cleansers, hair colours, etc. etc. It sells its products through distribution channels such as hair salons, mass market retail channels and e-commerce. The company was founded in 1909 and is headquartered in Clichy, France. L'Oreal has a dividend history of 32 years and a current yield of 1.07%. Sage Group PLC, ticker symbol SGE. The Sage Group PLC, together with its subsidiaries, provides technology solutions and services for small and medium businesses in North America, Northern Europe, Central and Southern Europe, and internationally. It offers cloud-native solutions such as Sage Intact, a cloud financial management platform, Sage People, a cloud HR and people management solution, Sage Accounting, obviously a solution for accounting, and Sage Payroll, again obviously a payroll and HR software. The company was founded in 1981 and headquartered in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, the United Kingdom. Sage has been paying out for 33 years and has a current dividend yield of 2.53%. Total Energies SE ticker symbol TTE. Total Energies SE operates as an integrated oil and gas company worldwide. The company operates through four segments, exploration and production, integrated gas, renewables and power, refining and chemicals and marketing and services. The company was formerly known as Total SE and changed its name to Total Energies SE in June 2021. Total Energies SE was incorporated in 1924 and headquartered in Paris, France. Total Energies has 38 years of dividend payments and a current yield of 6.77%, which is one of the highest on this list. Halma PLC Halma PLC provides technology solutions in the safety, health and, and environmental markets. It operates through four segments, process safety, infrastructure safety, environmental and analysis and medical. The four segments all have different products and offerings and serve different markets. The company was incorporated in 1894 and is headquartered in Amersham, the United Kingdom. Halma has a dividend history of 42 years and a current yield of 0.64%. The next one is ticker symbol MUV2. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this one for how wrong I'm likely to get it, so I'm going to leave the name here and let you use your imagination. This company engages in the insurance and reinsurance business worldwide. It operates through five segments, life and health reinsurance, property casualty reinsurance, ergo life and health Germany, ergo property casualty Germany and ergo international. The company offers life and health reinsurance solutions such as financial market risks, data data analytics, claims handling and underwriting. It also provides solutions for industry clients such as Internet of Things Cover, Specialty Coverage, Reputational Risk Insurance and Earnings Quality Insurance Protection and more. The company was founded in 1880 and based in Munich, Germany. MUV2 has been paying a dividend for 51 years and has a current yield of 4.2%. Unilever NV, ticker symbol UNVR. I already did an Is It Time to Buy video on Unilever and I'll put a link to it in the top right of this video. But in case you can't be bothered to watch the whole video, then here is a brief description. Unilever PLC operates as a fast moving consumer goods company in Asia, Africa, Middle East, Turkey, Russia, Ukraine, and elsewhere. 
It operates through beauty and personal care, foods and refreshment, and home care segments. Unilever PLC was incorporated in 1894 and is based in London, the United Kingdom. Unilever has paid out for 54 years and has a current yield of 3 of 3.42%. Nestle SA, ticker symbol NESN. The final company on our list is Nestle SA from Switzerland. Nestle, together with its subsidiaries, operates as a food and beverage company. This company pretty much operates throughout the whole of the world and the amount of brand names it operates under is truly impressive. The company was founded in 1866 and headquartered in Vevey, Switzerland. Nestle has a dividend history of an incredible 62 years and a current yield of 2.38%. So that's our list of the most reliable European dividend paying companies there are and some have some truly long history of paying dividends. Does this mean they're all worthy of a buy just for the virtue of being on this list however? Absolutely not. Maybe you don't like the direction the company is heading, or it might not be good value at the present time. One more thing to consider is that across various countries the dividend withholding tax can be quite high. Take Nestle for example, registered and listed in Switzerland, and that means that those of us outside of Switzerland have to pay a withholding tax of 35% on dividends. Nestle's yield isn't particularly high to begin with, but if you take a 35% chunk out of that before you even set eyes on it, it's a little hard to justify buying it. Anyway, as always, just some interesting companies for you to take a look at. Not recommending any, but there are a few I'd take a closer look into. Most of them will be UK companies, however. Do you own any of these companies, or does dividend history play a big role in how you choose your investments? Let me know in the comments. If you think the dividend experiment is interesting, I need you to do four things. First, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can stay informed for every video and update. We're making a whole range of videos that should help you on your journey to build a sustainable dividend portfolio. Second, use the link in the description to head over to eToro to see how the dividend experiment is going right now, live, and you can even join along if you'd like to. Third, if you're a new investor, I highly recommend the Dividend Academy. Completely free to join, gives you bite-sized lessons to get started investing, with none of that nonsense that others try and sell you for sky-high fees. Finally, open up a brokerage and get started building a sustainable dividend portfolio. I have some that I recommend in the description, and some will even give you a free share just to start you off. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. See ya.